company by the name of Intellivideo. And uh, we're a digital asset management e-commerce company, and I'll explain uh, what that really means. Uh, I'm here with uh, Chris today. Chris is also uh, part of the team. And uh, my background is that I've built a couple of uh, different companies. I built a services company that uh, took to about 400 people and sold it off um, in uh, 2008. And then I built a uh, product company, a software as a service company, and sold it to Equifax in 2011. So I built a couple of companies, kind of looking for a problem, and uh, so you can go to the next slide, uh, which was that uh, everybody knows something about something, and you know there are a lot of different subjects. Uh, there are a lot of different subjects that people know about. You know whether it's uh, sports or entertaining people or cooking, fishing, hiking. There are all these different subjects that people uh, know about. And they want to share it with other people. And so, you know, why not take that knowledge that you have and take it and share it uh, with others and make it available uh, to others? So, I know about a number of different things. I know about software. Right? I, uh, I was an Oracle guy, and then I started this Oracle consulting firm. And so, I know a lot about Oracle technology and had done all these different classes for people and, and had all that. Uh, knowledge and presentations and I thought man it would be great if I could just put it out there somewhere and sell it for whatever I want to and I actually had built a number of apps and put them into the Android marketplace and I love that model of you go out and you create something and you put it into a marketplace and then you sell it for whatever you want and all of a sudden people come and buy the stuff and it was kind of a cool model so I knew about Oracle stuff I knew about uh, sports like snowmobiling and um, water skiing to all, all different things. I grew up in a small town, so I know something about small towns. I know about startups. So there's all these different subjects. And so uh, when it comes to uh, taking that and translating that into uh, how do you turn that into cash, there's a bunch of research that you have to do. And the research is you know, figuring out the market size. So you know, if it's about uh, you know, uh, an open source technology that nobody knows about, for example, the market size might be pretty small. But if it's something like Ruby on Rails, it might be big. Or if it's Oracle, it might be big. But then you have to look at what's people's propensity to pay money for it. In the open source world, you know, early on, people were getting software for free, so they didn't really want to pay anything for uh, training or education or things along those lines. So there's all these dynamics that you have to look at, um, whether it's the production costs. So I know a lot about snowmobiling. I actually did a whole snowmobile uh, video series. And, and you know, to bring a photographer out, fly him into town, uh, he was a National Geographic guy, it was really expensive. Bringing him in, having him, he had to be able to snowmobile in the backcountry, very difficult terrain, setting up the cameras, doing all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, analyzing the market and those kind of things is, is difficult. So there's the initial research that has to be done. There's the production of the video, creating the teaser video that uh, helps people sell uh, their, their content, and then, you know, publishing it out. And in Televideo, we help people with all these different things, and we've kind of, it's beyond video at this point. We offer basically anything that's a digital asset. So it could be, a video that you want to sell and deliver, and we do all the delivery and all, all of that. We help people to bundle it up, we give them a website, it's their own website, it's their own look and feel, and, and they can sell it for whatever price they want, just like a marketplace. And the way that we make money is we basically charge a uh, commission for every sale that happens. And the more you pay on a monthly basis, the less you pay on a percentage basis. So if you pay a $9 a month plan, we take 30%. If you pay a $199 plan, we take 5%. So people, if they plan on selling a lot, they, they'll pay a little per transaction. If they don't know how much they're going to sell, then they'll pay more per transaction. And so, you know, this is kind of an iterative process. And the beauty of, you know, if you think about DVDs historically, it's a challenge because you hand somebody a DVD and you have no idea if they actually ever watched it. In the, in the digital asset world, we know everything about what the person does with it. We don't allow them to download it and take it and steal it and copy it to other people. We take it and we allow you to watch it. You can watch it in a streaming fashion. You can watch it on an app. So we have apps for all the different devices. 
and we track the usage. So we know which one of the videos you watched, how long you watched it, what you didn't watch. We know all kinds of data. So we have all this great analytics that helps feed this engine. So it just becomes a cycle of, of uh, uh, development. But the big thing that we've realized is that people want help in selling their, their product. And so we help people to uh, sell to their crowd in the cloud, we call it. And that is taking anybody that shares the information out. They can do it through a social media forum. Facebook, for example, everybody gets their own unique URL. And when somebody clicks on it, then uh, they actually can, they, they will get rewarded for that. We can send them an email and say, hey, five of your buddies bought this video. If you want to get your money, here's how you go about doing that. And so I call that kind of a pre-affiliate if you refer a friend. And then there are affiliates. Go to the next slide. The uh, affiliates are these subject matter experts. And there are subject matter experts all across the world that know about different topics, whether it's health and wellness or paleo diets or tennis, you name it. And they share their information, but what they really are collecting is all these email addresses of people that follow them. And then they look for products that they can go out and, and uh, present to people. And they get, in the digital asset world, they get to keep 30 to 80% of anything they sell. And so we do all the tracking and because there's this trust issue between the affiliate and the content owner. They don't really trust each other necessarily, and there's fraud, and there's all kinds of things that go on. So we handle the escrow of funds, and, and we manage all that for them. So from a team perspective, um, I mentioned myself, John and Monty, uh, they, they come from the digital goods world. They ran a company by the name of ClickBank, and they were the CTO for that. And then uh, Chris is our biz dev guy. We've used a lot of uh, contractors to do our development. Last slide. So where we're at, we uh, currently, we, we raised our seed capital round, and um, we're about halfway through that at this point. And so we're in the process of uh, doing our Series A. And so anybody that you know that could sell through affiliates or develop something, we'd love to help them. Uh, develop their content, and, and uh, you know, I'm not going to go into all this. Yeah. But <laughs> I'll show it on the last slide. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. So, yeah. So, I think that uh, sums up kind of where we're at and what we're doing, and look at your feedback.